is, is the split into two locations. He did some work on the IT project as well. So we make him allocate what work he does to that project versus what he does for normal IMC services. Page 10 of 15. Generator repair? Uh, what generator? Where? Um, it was a police repair. I don't know exactly what it was, but I can get you the information on what specifically. Codes? That's not the poles, is it? What's codes? Do we know where it was? Or we got it, it was at the annex. Oh, okay. So it is. It, That's that, the big gen. Yeah, it's coded as police. Um, I don't know if it's specifically that one, but I can check it. Okay, no, nope. that's fine. I'll go with it. All right, as long as I know where it's at. Okay. Is there any more on 10 or 15? Hearing none, 11 or 15. Hearing none, 12 or 15. The Rise Engineering 19,332. It says install energy efficient equipment. Is that the highway? This was, yes, the, um, the energy efficient lighting project that was approved um, two months ago. Yep. This is the completion of it. Thanks. So that was also not only highway, but it was the uh, animal shelter. It was in the garage. It was the whole uh, grounds was done. Outside, inside. The okay, item was at Richard Garrity. And afterwards, because I was graduating from the class, so if I have to recuse myself on that particular item. Which one are we on? Uh, uh, 12, 12 with 15, Richard Garrity. $72.25 for training graduation supplies. <laughs> Case uh, 13 or 15. Fourteen or fifteen. Fifteen or fifteen. <coughs> we already did the sewer. One of two. So one we did. Two, there is no questions. The final one is one of one for the water department. Hearing none. myself on the, the item on page 3 of 15, the videos of uh, purchase as well as the uh, reimbursements for Richard Garrick and the search supplies on page 12 of 15. Okay. Motion to accept payment of bills. Moved by Councilwoman Al, second by the chair. S uh, second for uh, discussion. Okay, second for the second. Uh, uh, I'll second it uh, to approve the bills on the advice of the uh, town administrator and the finance director's review. We can add that to the motion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In the amount of two million two hundred ninety-four thousand four hundred ninety-seven dollars and twenty-five cents. There's a motion, that's a second, and a second. Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Ms. Alex, yes. Mr. Smith, yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Sullivan, yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Boucher, yes. Uh, please note, Madam Clerk, that I recuse myself for two, two of those particular items. Okay. Thank you very much. <coughs> Old business. Uh, discussion by Council of Board on action contract with Angie uh, Consultant, Mrs. Hamilton. Uh, I'd actually defer, well, Mr. Um, Julian, yes, here. If, uh, if you recall the last meeting, you had requested that an amendment be drawn up to provide you with information that I could sign after your authorization for Mr. Dash to go out and get uh, financing for any approved project, and as a result of that, he would get a percentage, and I'll let him give you a quick update so we can move on. Thank you again for having me this evening. Um, you called last meeting, there was a bit of confusion, and, and I did the consultation again. Um, 
provides the contract in time. And within that conversation, we thought it would be easier if um, we just presented a simple amendment rather than a revised contract. So our current contract terms, if we're not requesting any change to our current contract, we're just simply adding the amendment for us to uh, add the scope of work to do the financing work associated with seeking to um, raise different sources of funding as approved for various projects. Um, and then further, I spoke with the uh, solicitor today and added even more uh, clarity to what was provided, really pointing on exactly what type of uh, funding and what is included uh, in the work. So our amendment is you know, for us to, to act on the time behalf to see primarily grants and, and any other non recourse uh, funding on behalf of projects uh, included uh, of, of which we would earn a fee of 10% of the total value raised. Included in that fee would be all administrative uh, and filing expenses, including if there are any uh, ongoing annual uh, filing uh, costs and, and works associated with that. If I may, Mr. President, what was in that package uh, was an uh, amendment to professional services agreements, time stamp the 15th, uh, excuse me, yeah, 15th, December, excuse me, December 16th, 2015. <coughs> If we could just remove that because we received a new one which is not time stamped. And this is the one that you're addressing, correct? The one that, does, that is not time stamped is the one that, that was just a dash this evening. We, we received this on our on dais. Okay, so there's no time stamp on it, but it is 1221. Correct. Okay, just for the record, we know what we're talking about. Seems to be have the same What this reads like now is it as if Mr. Dash went out and sought, and correct me, Mr. Iglesi, please jump in if I go astray. Uh, it, it, the way this is worded now, Mr. Dash is almost looking, uh, excuse me, acting like a grant writer for us. If it brings in uh, any money for the town, I'm going to use arbitrary numbers. Let's say that a $50,000 grant comes in for clean energy. Uh, Mr. Dash would be entitled to 5,000, 10% of that, $5,000. But it also be responsible for uh, filing and creating any reports that are required by the grantee of the, uh, the grantor, grantee. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. The people to give us the money, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that fair? Grantor. Grantor to the grantee through the administrator. You're going to administrate these. So. Correct. Uh, that, that came about because basically I, I, I called uh, Solicitor Igliosi today to kind of tuck this up a bit. Uh, Solicitor Igliosi, do you think we've covered all the grounds in this? I do. I clarified that based on our conversation, I followed up with Mr. Dash and just clarified that primarily he'd be seeking at this point primarily federal and state grants. Mm -hmm. That's primarily the source of funding he'd be seeking. Yep. Non recourse financing, which is grants. <coughs> and he would uh, he'd obtain those grants, but again, upon the city's, the town's request. So he wouldn't just go out and be obtaining grants. It'd be upon the town's request, they go seek a grant. If they achieved that grant, we received it. Um, he would be entitled ten percent. All filing, administrative costs associated with filing, and any reports associated with his responsibility. And he put that language in here at my behest. Yes, thank you for following up. The, the other thing is, I, I, I wouldn't wait for us to request you. If you see a heck of a deal, you want to bring it to our attention, then we could request you to do it. That, that's part of what we discussed. And you know, started some work on behalf of conversation with the, with the administrator. Um, more than likely, most times, I'll be made aware of opportunities that I bring to out of the administrator uh, and all the council. So, yes, we would obviously be proactive on that. Now, excuse me, Mr. Dash, just one question. For example, if this came about, all of a sudden, a state program is coming out with a, a grant seemed to be released and you basically caught wind of it, then correct. you'd be on top of it, on top of like a whole more hot dog, right? Last week, the federal government changed the rules <laughs> and all our uh, other clients that it applies to the very next day. And, 
Salt permission of this person, so yes, we are, we are on top of it immediately whenever there's opportunities that arise. Thank you. Okay, if, if I can just suggest we change the date, uh, if we're going to vote on this, that we change the amendment as entered into the state of 12 21 2015. We got seven, uh, into the seventh day of December. So if we can change that around, I think that all looks good unless somebody else sees something. Up at the top and down at the bottom, right? First Correct. paragraph. And First paragraph present. and under agreed. Mr. President, if there's no other uh, comments by council, I'd like to make a motion to approve this amendment of professional services, which we dated 12-21-2015, and to make the amendments to the dates uh, to reflect December 21st, 2015, in both locations where it shows up on this amended contract. Okay, two seconds. Any further discussion? Hearing nothing, and also to have the town administrator sign. Yes. Include that signatory for the town. Include that uh, Madam Clerk. Okay. Uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing that Madam Clerk roll call vote, please. Ms. Ellis? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 Okay. Item B. Discussion by Council. Vote of the rest on E1 Grider Pumps. Mr. Buchan. Mr. President, I, I would just recommend that that matter be heard uh, um, after your executive session on this matter if you want to talk about the all right, then we'll go to the, those aspects. Okay, then we'll just basically uh, withdraw, withdraw this at the present time. And we'll continue. Just, uh, we'll continue to put, that, continue put this down, down at the bottom of the docket for until for now. Okay, item C, discussion, council, vote of direction on appointments, boards, and commissions. Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, nominate Walter Casper for the three year term that's going to be 18 to the budget. Second. Motion by Councilman Sowey, second by Councilman Nato for Mr. Casper. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 The point, uh, Paul Pascarello is the second alternative, alternate. One year term expires 12 116 to the zoning board. Second for, second for discussion? No. Second, 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 second. Okay, fine. Okay, well, motion by Councilman Silvey for to put Mr. Pascarello as second alternate. Uh, second by Councilman Zawinski. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none. Uh, uh, ask for more nominations. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, My apologies. Okay, are there, are there any further nominations for I'd this like position? I would like to nominate Patrick Dowell and Junior Esquire. We have a motion by Council, Councilwoman Nato for Patrick Dowling Jr., Esquire. Uh, second by Councilman Zawinski for, for discussion. Uh, okay, he's a, I guess he's, a, he's an attorney. Mm -hmm. I think he also a letter on that somewhere. Okay, so now, are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations to, for this position? Okay, we'll take first one. First. Take, take the first one in order on Mr. Pascarello. Okay. Ms. Alice? Yes. Mrs. Delanado? No. Mr. Soley? Yes. Mr. Zelensky? Yes. Mr. Boucher? No. Motion, motion passes 3 to 2 for Mr. Pascarello. for boards and commissions and no other appointees at the present time. Okay. We need a, a motion to extend. Okay. Chair makes a motion to extend the meeting for 15 minutes. Second. Second by Councilor Zawinski. All in favor say aye. 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 Yes, have we extending. Next time on the docket. Okay, this is by Council Board of Action on Time Donated to Pumpkin Fest by a Municipal Employee, and it was Elizabeth Featherstone. 
no information was provided to me to provide to you for this item, so I'd like it to be tabled if possible to the next available spot on, on the agenda. February. Yes, sir. Make a motion to table this the first meeting in February, Mr. President. Okay, Mr. Bush, by Councilor Zeminski, second by the chair to table to February 1st. Discussion. Any discussion? Hearing none? All in favor say aye. Aye. The United States have its table until February 1st. Uh, discussion cut by Council of Order of Reaction on abatements by Mr. Pomley. Um, if everybody has seen in their package the two abatements that are up here for tonight. Um, the first abatement was just a vehicle that should have been taxed in Winsocket. It was taxed in ours. So, um, when we received the corrected information, we are abating this off the roll. The second was for Bell Air Realty, where they applied to the tax uh, appeals board about reinstating an FSO, FFOS exemption. Please stop. Instead of the accurate farm, farm forest, like open space. I, I'm aware of it. I just want to. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know what it was. I needed but that. No, I'm, I'm sure sorry. I've been aware of it. We, we were all in that. Anyways, the board has um, decided to give the abatement for that farm forest open space exemption to go back. So that is what this item is as well. Um, the board already voted to allow it, so I don't know what that plays into here, but it was approved by them. So those are the only two items. Uh, more of a statement first, if I may. Does Mr. Kelty have a plan on attending any of these meetings to explain his tax abatements? This past meeting, he did not give a reason for why he was Oh, the meetings here. before, or... I, I mean, I haven't specifically asked him a question for that, but would I can you, if you'd would, like. Would you mind, because, sure. I mean, he's a paid employee of the town, and this is his department, he should be here to explain these things. Sure. Jason, I appreciate, you know, you're the finance director, and you're capable, but... It shows up on my name, so I do Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, so, I would like to see Mr. Daltz here attend these meetings to explain. As a matter of fact, all departments that need to be here should be working when they're supposed to be working, is what I'm saying. Thank you. Uh, I'll make a motion to accept these tax abatements in the amount of uh, $122.87 for the uh, Lynn Labrie, and I'm happy to accept the abatement of $19,269.79 for Bel Air Realty uh, Limited Liability. It's a motion to accept both of them. I'll second. A motion by Councilman Zawinski, second by Councilman Sully. Any further discussion? Madam Clerk, roll call, vote please. Mr. Alves? Yes. Mrs. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Mr. Sully? Yes. Mr. Boucher? Yes. Tax trees analysis, Mr. Palmer. Um, this item actually, um, my assistant finance director's task was to enter all the tax freeze corrections that was previously voted on by the council. When she did so, she actually picked up another mistake in our records for $157.95 that needs to additionally be corrected to make the tax freeze correct. That's all this item is, is a correction to the correction of the freeze. I'll make a motion to uh, accept the uh, correction of 157.95. That was abated from the account on 9.19.13. Effective uh, as presented today. It goes in our favor, actually. Okay, motion by Councilman so we second, second by the Chair and, and Councilman uh, yes. Zawinski. Any further discussion? Hearing on Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Ms. Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Discussion by Council of Order Action Agreement with LL Data Design Probate Software Program, Mr. Pomeroy. Uh, the reason this is on the agenda was in an abundance of caution of letting every agreement that is signed by the town come before the council. I don't, I don't believe this has ever come in front of the council because it's paid for out of uh, money that's collected by the clerk and set aside for records restoration, which is special revenue in nature. So I don't believe this has ever come here, but because it's an agreement between us and an entity, I figured it needs to come here. And that's what this is, is just to request approval to enter into this agreement for LL data to
to do the maintenance of our probate software database. Is this something that would normally came through the town clerk? You said through the town clerk's office? Yeah. Can you approve this to the town clerk? Yeah. It just, be, because I, we were going to sign our names to an agreement, okay. that is, you know, to be put in front of you prior to that happening. And our probate database is pretty important, and $295 for the year, not that much money. So, Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to approve our annual contract of $295 with LLD Designs, LLC, of Smithfield, Rhode Island, uh, for maintenance and support of our building duties. I'll second. It works for the council to to approve $295 for the software database for the The probate uh, software program. Any further discussion? Mr. Yes. 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 Executive sessions second by Councilwoman Nato. Any further discussion? Hearing that, Madam Clerk, roll call vote, please. Yes. 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 Y